all the right angles. Strong lines are everywhere we look in the built environment, whether it is horizontals, verticals, diagonals, zigzags or curves. Lines can help you create images with a strong graphic element, often acting as leading lines to draw the viewer's eye towards a main point of interest, such as a person. In this assignment, look for lines that you can use in your compositions, such as walls, staircases, rows of street lights, and other street furniture, of course bridges, curbs, and road markings, and produce a series of 12 images where these lines are an obvious feature. For inspiration, look at the work of legendary street photographer Fan Ho, who used lines to beautiful effect in his monochromatic urban images. If your image contains horizontal or vertical lines, make them as straight as possible. If this isn't possible to achieve in camera, they can usually be corrected during post-production. Diagonals tend to work best when positioned at 45 degrees. Lines can be visually quite brutal. You can add pleasing softness with a contrasting curve or irregular shape. If possible, set your camera's viewfinder or LCD screen to show a grid overlay. This will help you get the important lines straight. Hello guys, so first of all I have to say how much I appreciate you watching the whole damn video. So <laughs> finally you see my results and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just scroll through them and comment just the most necessary things and the things I, I think are important while I was doing these. So let's start. Seeing the first picture you can see that I use more than one technique. And if you analyze the photo a little bit further, you can see I used layering. So there's a person in first plane, second plane, third plane. I used shooting into the light. I used very high contract black and white. But leading lines are very obvious in this one. I don't have to explain. They're all leading to the left towards that man in the distance that is barely seen. But because of the leading lines, we kind of see him in the distance you will notice him so next one is way more apparent so if you see you can always use curbs street markings they're all very important and the interesting thing about this one is the person or the subject or whatever is walking on that line so <laughs> that's why i thought it was interesting and that's why I turned it upside down because this way it was a little bit prettier. You can always shoot cityscapes from a higher vantage point. That's how you get this 3D look. You get a lot of leading lines and your eye is going into the distance and you're seeing the whole image. Next one is one of my favorites. So you have the first leading line showing the guy in the first plane and the second one showing the girl in the, in the second plane, which is just peeking around his shoulder. Really good one. If you are from London, you probably know where I'm right now. So where I am is Barbican neighborhood, extremely beautiful neighborhood. It's an architecture marvel I think because everywhere you look there's a picture frame and whoever you see there is they just framed in between these like beautiful empty planes that you see all around you it's really cool <laughs> staircases you can always use staircases a lot of walls you can use walls as well as long as there's someone that those walls or those leading lines are pointing to, 
you'll get good results hallways really good banisters banisters are really cool i guess <laughs> and the last one but not the least uh, my favorite one i think because they're actual lines and i had to wait a little bit until two groups of people or in this case two girls and, and one girl on the other line just came perfectly standing on the lines they kind of remind me of just musical notes but yeah that would be it for today so thank you so much for watching if you want to support the channel you can subscribe like the video comment i like to read comments yeah see you in the next one thanks